everybody, Alert Wolf here to bring you another anime review. This time I'm doing it on uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans Episode 2. This one's called Barbatos, which is the name of the Gundam. Um, we see the epic conclusion at the beginning of the episode uh, to that battle. We also found out some little backstory of them setting it up, which we missed in the first episode. Basically, the cockpit system... It, it, Gundams are ancient. And gu the Gundam in this base has been cannibalized, worked as a power source. So things like the cockpit, some of the shoulder armor, they're all missing because they, they were thrown away. So they used a worker unit and put that cockpit in. And the systems that are already in place. So for the systems on a Gundam have a much more extreme effect on the body and we see that as our main hero uses the suit now one thing that's funny as they fight uh, the commander of the other army uh, you know figures out that first he finds out that they've been fighting children this whole time that shocks him I mean he's a man of honor He's a true soldier. He didn't get into this type of business to be fighting children. Secondly, he finds out, which uh, he, not only is he fighting children, but the Gundam, they forgot to gas up the Gundam, it happens. And so they would have an unfair advantage. Uh, so he issues a retreat. Uh, his <coughs> gung-ho uh, number two guy there didn't want to back off, but... It is what it is. We get more character interplay between uh, the princess and our hero. But I will say this. Come on, you know they end up together. You know she's going to love him. You know he's going to act like he don't like her. Like, I don't even like girls. Uh, uh, you're gross. But, you know, I'm totally into you. Right? Right? You know that's where it's going. Um, and that's what we got to see. This episode was basically about characters, right? I mean, the, the commanding, uh, the commander of the, the opposition, uh, he gets ordered back in, and now he's going to have to go fight via the next episode. By him, He's going to do it by himself, because he doesn't want to stain any more hands with the blood of children. That if it, it has to be done, even though he doesn't want to do it, let it just be his sins, you know? Uh, so, we also get the commander... Their commander is uh, the higher up. He's all about killing children. He's a little evil. The commander to the base uh, that they're in was pissed off that, that they made him participate in the battle. And so, uh, you know, they, they beat the crap out of, out of our, you know, out of the, and I, I think this, I think he's going to get a gun, by the way. You know, because he's the, uh, he's like the number two guy, and he's clearly the easy leader and, uh, uh, Orga's best friend, but something tells me he's gonna be, uh, the number two guy, and, uh, that's, that's gonna be pretty cool. Well, in my humble opinion, um... But, uh, you know, it, we, again, it, this Gundam is, is interesting. It always has been because the villains, at least the good villains on Gundam, you know, are, have never been truly, like, the good villain rivals. Villain rivals is how I'm going to put it. They've never been 100% bad, and the heroes have never been 100% good, you know, a lot of times in these shows, they should, had circumstances been different, should have been on the same side, fighting for justice, you know what I mean, fighting for a good cause. So, it's going to be interesting to see how this progresses. And this makeshift Gundam, you know, if you're used to this overpowered beast of a monster, there is a seed, pardon the pun, of that here, that you can tell this Gundam has that capability to be overpowered, but right now, it's so dilapidated, it's so old, it's so in disrepair that it's gonna take a while for it to be 
the monster it should be. Um, and I like this approach to the Gundam. It's 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 different, and it's 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 a little refreshing this way. Again, this has that double O feel to it. Uh, has that side story feel to it. But I dig I dig kind of where this is going, and this is going to be kids, uh, or not kids, but teenagers doing what they do, and they have to basically protect the, it's, it's a save the princess story, but told interestingly. Uh, I'm going to give this episode a 3 out of 5, I thought it was good, uh, we got to get more character involvement, I apologize for the names, I am, uh, this is only episode 2, so my memory for their names are isn't all there yet, but... Believe me, by the time this series gets rolling, I'm gonna have everybody's name down, and uh, and it you know it'll come naturally to me. But uh, again, you know, super pumped. We have a Gundam, and it's good. So uh, that's enough out of me. Click it up if you like it. Comment if you must, and please, please, please subscribe if you can. And this is your buddy Alert Wolf signing out.